Welcome to MMA Fancast. My name is Luke Mason. As always, welcome back to everyone who's already a subscriber to the YouTube channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe so you can see more great interviews like the one coming at you right now. Welcome back to the show. Two years removed from his last 247 fighting championship fight and one year removed from his last MMA fight. Back on the show, Edwin Vera. Edwin Vera, welcome back. You uh, how you doing, man? <laughs> Great having you back on the show. I've been honored to call some of your fights when you fought for 247. It's really great to have you back. 247 Fighting Championships, Brawlenberg 20 is shaping up to be an incredible card. You're, of course, a part of that incredible card uh, on February 24th. So talk about it. How this fight come together? What makes you ready to get back into the 247 cage here? in just over a month oh man i've been ready actually i've been ready to come back man it's just like i had to get um i had to get stuff right you know i had to get my body right i had to get physically and mentally prepared for a lot of stuff you know like um yeah like i've been going through going through some shit some stuff um mainly mainly body mainly body stuff but you know i've everything's been working out now i've I'm completely recovered and I'm just, I'm ready to just go now. You know, I've been training really hard, you know, it's, everything's been getting, it's been coming together lately. Well, that is always great to hear. Uh, you fought on the second ever 247 card. I don't know if you know that, but there was the kickoff card in April. You fought on the second card, the first card ever referred to as Brawl in the Berg. So you fought on Brawl in the Berg, uh, the first one that was called Brawl in the Berg. And now you're going to be fighting on Brawl in the Berg 20. So it's really cool. Your debut is for 247 in July of 2019, the second event ever for 247. Reflecting back now, you're coming into your ninth fight. You're four and four. You have a ton of amateur fights. Not all of them have had the results you've wanted, but you've had some great wins, some great fights. What's it like coming into your ninth fight, being able to look back? on fighting now in MMA for just under five years of being in the, in the two, four, seven cage, almost five years ago. Yeah. It's just I, like my development. Like I, I liked how my game just elevated and like, like as of now, like I'm starting to see stuff I didn't see before, you know, strike striking wise and wrestling wise, you know, I'm starting to see stuff. I'm starting to learn and not to be in that red zone as I always used to be, you know, like always straightforward, just trying to swing, you know, just brawling. So I'm learning to like pace myself now, you know, and I got a lot of people to think that my coaches, Bobby Murder, you know, my um my teammates, you know, Eli, my um Justin Patton, you know, got a, and I got all my other great coaches. We got well, um, Isaac, we got Chris Dempsey and, um, Chris, um, Chris Williams, he'd be coming down to the map factory and helping out too. So, you know, I got a lot of good coaches on my side and they just been teaching me a lot of stuff in my, and just my game is, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing a lot of stuff more while I'm fighting and sparring than I didn't see when I was, when my first, my first fight, you know, I was just looking at my first fight the other day and it's, really crazy how far I came you know it's it's really crazy like I'm not very forward like how I used to be and stuff like that you know always in the red zone just ducking my head and swinging <laughs> you know it's it's actually but it's actually good that I go back and see that because I get to see how much I progress how much I developed from that to, from my first fight to now you know so yes. you know it's, it's it's cool it's cool seeing that you know yeah, seeing that progression is really great. This is a great time for us to plug real quick 247 Live app, the app the 247 Fighting Championship has. It has a monthly subscription just like any other subscription site. And what's cool about the 247 Live app, there are things on there that are free. So I tell people, download it. Next week is going to be the 247 Second Annual Awards. That'll be on there. Any Any podcast that they do, Sometimes yeah. there's free fights up there right now. There's free fights related to the awards, some fight of the year candidates, stuff like that's up there. So there is some free content, but it's always great to have downloaded 247 Live on any device. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's a great way to watch the fights too because there is a pay-per-view option. But if somebody were to get the uh, the package and be able to go back, what's really cool is 
They can go back into every fight 247 has ever had, and they can search by fighter. You fought for 247 a bunch. They can type in Edwin Vera and search you and watch every fight starting with your first fight back in July of 2019. It's pretty cool. They can also, because you started talking about the Matt Factory, they can also, they're going to need a couple days, but they're going to also be able to search the Matt Factory and watch every fight that the Matt Factory has ever had in 247. So they'll be there for a while for that one. But uh, it's really cool to navigate. Now, when you talk about your development, obviously you've mentioned uh, striking because you were known as a brawler, as a street fighter, somebody that was really exciting to watch. Clearly, you're, you're really working on your on your striking, which of course will make you even more dangerous. But the Matt Factory has the name Matt Factory for a reason. And I think you made a great decision to go there. You even dragged in one of your good buddies um, who's now been fighting uh, the the mutant, right? The, uh, uh, the black Jay. mutant, Justin Pippins. Black mutant, yeah, Justin Pippins, Jay Pippins. Uh, and so you dragged him in years ago, and he always talks about that coming to a Matt factory. But wh- where do you think you've developed as far as jujitsu and ground game goes? Um, where I develop, I like um my my whole game right now, and it's like it's crazy because we was just doing that today, and um we was just speaking about it today, and um Matt at the Matt Factory Club today, and it's like my wrestling has not wrestling as in just regular wrestling, but like my MMA wrestling has gone into a whole new level. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm noticing and everybody else is noticing how good of a grappler I am getting, especially MMA wise, you know? So that's like I said, as I'm, um, I'm, I'm still learning the steps as a, as an MMA fighter, you know, striking the wrestling, wrestling and striking, you know, and it's, but everything that anything that stands out is like my grappling. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I would really and I really like to focus. I like to focus on that. And um, yeah. Um, oh, oh, so sorry, sorry, my fault. Um, but yeah, like I got the question again. Oh no, you you hit it perfectly. I know we're catching you right after one of your hard workouts at the Mad oh, Factory. man, yeah. We, he had us on the Versa Climber today, and oh, oh, my goodness. That is, Isaac comes up with the craziest things, you know, <laughs> to freaking keep us in shape and stuff, and that Versa Climber is my worst enemy. I'm trying to make it my best friend, but right now, it's my worst enemy. I could still feel it on my back, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you you just referenced Coach Isaac Greeley, who is the only member, the first inaugural and only member of the 247 Fighting Championship Hall of Fame, is your coach. So uh, really, really awesome guy, Coach Isaac yes. Greeley. We got to see him uh, compete against a former UFC title challenger, three-time title challenger, Gray Maynard. Incredible event back at Strongberg 1. And a guy who's pushing 50 to be in that shape and that ability athletically. It's just an incredible thing. What did you, going back to when you started training, what was your first thoughts on Coach Isaac? Because he's a doctor, he's a chiropractor, he has a doctor in chiropractic. He's also a former Division one or two, very high-level All-American wrestler. Plus, of course, he does the the MMA and the Jiu-Jitsu. What was your first thought of him when you realized that he wasn't, you know, a young man and he was still doing everything that he's doing what was your first thought of that i was like it, it was it, it was crazy because i'm like that guy <laughs> like i'm like that guy right there and then it's it's crazy because you just look at him and he's just so nice he's happy but when he's on that mat he's a whole different monster you know it's like he's it, it's crazy how he could just be this you feel me this nice guy you could yeah. chill with have fun with and then when he's on that mat it's like Get me away from him, you know? Like, <laughs> like to this day, I can't. I try my hardest. I try my hardest. To this day, I still can't get that man, you know? He is a freak of nature, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I think I think there's no shame. There's no shame in that. Edwin oh, no, it's an honor day. to even, like, even... There to, you go. To, to grapple with him is just an honor, you know? It's, I think so- it was a little over a year and a half ago. It was before he competed against, before he fought... Gray Maynard in that super grappling match. 
he went down to Texas, I think it was, and won the Masters Nogi IHF yeah. Worlds. And that's where I was like, I knew he was a stud. I knew he had the collegiate background wrestling, you know, 25 years ago. But for for him to compete at that level, at the black belt level, against some of the best Masters in the world, which I think Masters is like our age. I think it's 31 or 32 and up. So it's not like Masters is 50 and up. Masters is yeah. pretty young. Uh, you qualify, I think, for Masters. Um, so it shows he's still competing against some studs. It just really showed that the type of competitor he is. And what's fun about my relationship with your coach is I only get the fun side of your coach. I don't I don't get out there on the mat with him. So I, I love Coach Isaac, Dr. Coach Isaac. Doctor, yeah. And uh, it's it's really great. We have a, a lot of fun back and forth. So what are your thoughts on this on this fight? We've heard kind of you talk about your development. You're one of the OG amateurs in 247 history, like we talked about, fighting on their second ever card. Now, almost five years later, uh, to, to have been on their first brawl card now, the 20th. I mean, it's just really, really cool. Uh, but what are your thoughts on your opponent? He's had a layoff. You've had a bit of a layoff. His layoff's been a little bit longer. But he's a guy, I think, coming into his – you're coming into your ninth fight. I think he's coming into his ninth or tenth amateur fight as well so you both have a lot of experience what are your thoughts on your opponent well um i've been trying to find stuff on him i can't really but you know i haven't seen i know he's hasn't been in the cage in a while but that doesn't mean anything i will never like mm -hmm. you know like ever under, underestimate my opponent but you know my my plan is always my plan it's going in and smashing you know i'm going to smash him that's it like that's all i'm gonna do i'm gonna work my plan I'm going to get him down, and I'm going to just outwork him. That's it. I'm going to make him want – I'm going to make him want to tap or make him want to quit. And that's oh, all. That, that expression makes you sound like the hawk, which is wonderful, right? You're, you're going to win by smash, right? You're going to smash. You feel me? You are? <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's where that's where the confidence comes from, which is – uh, pretty awesome. The the gym you train at, as well as obviously all the things you have done, really can bring that confidence. It's a great feeling to be able to look back and see your progress, see why you are confident in your in yourself. I mean, I've heard you say that you could knock out Julian Flannery in one punch. So you know you you have you have a lot of confidence. You can't. Um, you can't. Hey hey hey. Shh, shh, shh. You know that that was between me and you. Right? <laughs> That's a complete joke, Julian. We're just, I know he's going to watch this. We are just nah, kidding. Nah, nah, that play. never happened. Hey, I Julian, I'm playing. What... We were just playing, man. Nah, yeah, I'm we were kidding. just playing, buddy. <laughs> I wanted to see what, what would happen there. I, 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 I love Julian. He and his wife are lovely people. And uh, she's super sweet. And he's super mellow outside the cage. Yes, when he's definitely. Not winning, when he's not winning all his fights by vicious knockout. Now, here's what's interesting. I'm just checking something on Tapology because they keep it pretty up to date. Okay, so this is great news. Uh, we'll talk about, well, let me check. Yeah, we'll talk about this a little bit. It looks like your fight has been approved, which would make sense given your guys' experience, been approved for advanced amateur. Talk a little bit about that. You mentioned smash. You mentioned ground and pound. So that's when I started thinking, oh, mm -hmm. this has got to be advanced amateur. What do you like about the advanced amateur rules? It's more time. It's nine minutes instead of six minutes as a total fight. And of course, ground and pound, is allowed what, what are your thoughts on this being advanced amateur i know you fought advanced amateur um, i like that it's you know it's you know like like you said it's a little bit more time so it gives it me a little bit more time to fill out everything fill out the fill out every um his movement and stuff like that and more more importantly you know the ground and pound and the smashing you know like i i um i've been straying i like i see that in a lot of my fights i've been straying away from the from my wrestling and my um ground and pound and i i noticed that's where i'm very very dominant at so i'm like in advance like like you say you know advanced rules ain't nothing new to me you know i'm you know no shin pads you know ground and pound but we can't like elbow or kick to the head so you know advanced rules it's kind of exciting not as much as exciting as it would be if it was kicks to the head and stuff like that you know but you know we got to start somewhere, right? Um, but yeah, it's very. I'm. I just can't wait to just get in there, you know. I'm. Put somebody on the floor and punch them in their face, you know. You heard? <laughs> That's why you're an exciting fighter to watch. I'm honored that you came back on 
MMA fan cast to talk I'm, to me. I'm, I'm ecstatic that I'm actually coming back to the brawl in the Berg. I miss, I miss y'all, you know? Well, we miss you. I know I've said, I'm pretty sure on one of the shows, because you, you jumped on, I think, for uh, like one or two fights to talk on one of the shows yeah. that we were doing as like a third commentary. You jumped on it. Uh, you are just such a great person to be around. Everybody loves you. You, you. you fight very aggressively and fan favorite, sort of like the Cowboy Cerrone style, you know, really, really high paced, really, really mm -hmm. exciting. Uh, but you've always got a smile. You always got a smile on your face. You're always cracking jokes. You're just a fun, uh, a fun guy. Uh, I, in fact, I just ruined the joke, but you'll like it. Let's see if you laugh. What did what did one what did one mushroom say to the other? I don't know what. Hey, dude, you're a fun guy. <laughs> oh, oh my! Well, that's that's all for hey, tonight. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Well, uh, hey, man, almost 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 soiled myself. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, hey, I appreciate you coming on the show. Can't wait to see you. One last question to kind of wrap up on, because I think it'll be fun to get your perspective. There's been five fights announced for this card. There's been 13 matched. They're doing a great job kind of uh, dripping them out, you know, you know, over time, uh, which is great. But the five fights, three of them are advanced amateur fights. Uh, one of the advanced amateur fight is a title fight. The other two are pro fights. From what's been announced so far, how exciting do you think this card is? I mean, just you, two other advanced amateur fights and two pro fights. I feel like this is one of the most solid cards just in the five that, that they've announced. What are your thoughts on the card as a whole so far? I mean, like, I feel like Brawl and Berg as a whole, they're like 247. They're getting like it's it gets better and better every time, you know. That's what it is. I'm not I'm not surprised that it just keeps on, you know, getting better and better. You know, Ryan, Hunter, um, Jim, everybody over there, man. You know, they're doing a good freaking job, man. And I appreciate them, you know. Thank you for giving us local fighters, amateur fighters, uh, you know, some something, you know, fighting Pittsburgh, fighting in front of local people, you know. Thank you for doing that for us, man. We appreciate it a lot. And Trust me, we won't we won't make you we won't make you regret it either, man. Well, I'm gonna make sure Ryan Middleton and Hunter and Jim Mooney know to catch this interview. They usually catch these interviews on MMA Fancast. They're gonna want to probably cut that. What you just said there was so great for 247. I know they really care about getting the feedback from the coaches and from the fighters. And that's been Ryan, the owner of 247's goal the whole time, to show off and put on high level, the highest of regional level MMA, but also to show how much Pittsburgh has to offer. And the Pittsburgh gyms, you come from one of the greatest Pittsburgh gyms in the Matt Factor, but we know there's also Stout. There's also the Academy. There's so many great, there's so many great, the Gorilla House is kind of an, a, an adopted Pittsburgh gym, even though it's from a little bit farther away. I know that the double champ, uh, the double champ comes and trains with you guys at times. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it's such, just such a great community to show off Pittsburgh. And there's many more, you know, one of the exciting categories next week on the 24th of January, free on 247 Live app or on any of the other socials is going to be the award show. I tell everybody to go watch it because one of the categories is new gym of the year. And one of the cool parts is you now you've got gym of the year, which of course you guys are always in the running and, and stout and some of the main, mm -hmm. some of the main gyms, but new gym of the year is always an exciting category. Last year, they had new gym of the year and this year will be a different set of new gym of the year. And it's just exciting how many local sort of Pittsburgh regional MMA gyms are still getting into taking fights, you know, still the up and coming gyms. Mm -hmm. uh, there's several this year. Voting's been closed uh, now for a little bit, but there was some great gyms uh, up and up and coming in there. So it's just really fun to, to see what Pittsburgh has to offer. I appreciate you giving the shout out for two for seven. I think you're absolutely right. The quality of the fighters continue like yourself included, because when you started in 2019, you've now developed into an advanced amateur. Yeah. All all the advanced amateur fighters have been guys that have developed within 247. There's a, a, a guy, I'm sure you you know of him, uh, Lucas Siebert coming out of Stout that has taken yeah, a definitely. ton of fights for 247. He's the 247 
amateur champ and now he's going pro and that's really the goal right to take somebody like you or lucas or anybody you know obviously i, I should have used the general as an example because he yeah definitely as Justin, an amateur right? and then went up Shout to pro and now his headline general. yeah and now he's headlining events winning in massive fashion his last headline event was just yeah, like his last fight you could just see how Ooh. oh man bro i just like i it's like you could just see how he was just so technical, man. And I, I, I just, I love the way he fights, man. I, I swear he makes me a better fighter, you know. It's, oh, I just I'm love sure the way he's he punched fights. you. I'm sure he's punched you a time or two in your in your stuff. Definitely, but yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm looking forward to seeing you on February 24th at Fraunenberg 20 for two for seven fighting championships. I'm looking forward to seeing you. I mean, you'll always be as handsome as Edwin Vera is, but I'm looking forward to you looking like. Uh, Justin General Patton in your in your striking that would be a beautiful thing of course uh to see that I wouldn't say like Justin because you know Justin you know he's good he, he's good but I, I I'll try my best with it you know there you go yeah. well, it's been awesome having you on the show as always thanks so much for being such an entertaining it's been a pleasure it's always a pleasure with you guys man you're, I, you're, I, I love the I love the heck out of you guys, man. You're you're the man. I'll see you in the cage the 24th. Can't wait. Everybody needs to get their tickets. Give Edwin credit. 247fighting.com. Buy your tickets. Fighters do not have physical tickets this time. So buy your tickets through 247fighting.com. Make sure you give Edwin credit. Thanks so much, buddy, for coming on the show. You heard? You got it, my Don't man. Yeah, February care. 24th, man. It's going to be a show. There it is. going to be a show. Thanks, Ed. Edwin. You take care. You too, man.